Hi, welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a HTML signature to your Outlook email client for your desktop PC. <music> to get started, the first thing we need to do is go to File and then go to Options and then click on Mail. And before you're inclined to click on Signatures, hold Control and then click on it. What happens is this opens up this window right here, which leads to your app data for Microsoft email signatures for Outlook. So as you can see, I already have two email signatures created in here. Now, one thing you need to know when you're writing the HTML code, you need to make sure that the file itself is saved in .htm format, not .html. So if we take a look at the properties, you can see this is saved as .htm. So I'll give you a quick example of that. If we just take this code editor, I'll just quickly populate something here. You can see I initially have this saved as test.html. Now normally when you're writing HTML, you would. So within the body, I'm just gonna quickly write up a h1, hello world. So let's just assume this is my new signature. But this time I'm going to go save as, and then I'll say demo.htm. And if we go back to this location, we can copy the link, paste it up here, and then hit save. And if we have a look at the location, you can see demo.htm is available. Now let's go to Outlook. So we'll go into mail and then this time we'll click on it without holding control and as you can see demo.htm the signature is already there so what I'm gonna do is change new messages to demo I'll leave I'm gonna leave replies just so I can show you what that looks like and then I'll say OK and then OK again and if we create a new email you can see our heading one, H1, hello world, is our signature. And the great thing about this is we can just simply go back to this or we can go to the code editor and just say, hello world, I'm Kingsley. And then I'll hit save. It's still saving to that location, which you can see up here. And then we'll go back to Outlook. We'll close this. And then I'll open up a new email again, and you can see that's already updated. I obviously spelled hello completely wrong, pet peeve, so I'm going to change this. Save it again. Obviously, it's not going to update it, but if you go to here and click signature and just click demo, you can see it instantly updates it again. And if we select this drop down again and I select replies, you can see this is what the replies email looks like. So what can happen is if I go to Outlook and then I go to Inbox and then I just pick out any random one here. So these are all test emails to my test email account. And then I just say reply to all, for example, you can see it adds the reply email there as well. Now there is one more way to generate HTML signatures. So we can go this way instead and go to signature and we can just simply say new and we'll do demo two. And we can just write whatever we want. And we can press OK. And if we go back to the app data again, you can see demo two is now added. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, I hope this helps you out in figuring out how to add HTML signatures or even taught you a little bit about HTML signatures within Outlook. Now, if you'd like to see more videos on HTML signatures or HTML in general, please drop a comment in the comment section below. And I will be doing a video soon enough on how to create professional HTML signatures. And I'll be doing it all for free giving you guys a professional look to your email client. Anyway, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And of course, subscribe to this channel. I will be making more videos like this. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.